Well, I believe I will. Got to wiggle my hand in here to get to it, but I think I'm going to. Oh, oh, you can't even see it. There we go. Well, I can't get it to come. There we go. Now we're in focus. It's technically not quite ready or not quite ripe, but close enough for me. Bugs and all. Mm -hmm. Man, that's so good. A little tart. <laughs> I nearly choked on it. It's so tart. <laughs> but it was, sure was juicy and good, though. I sell some other ones out here that's also about ready too, but I'll let them go another day or two after that one. Wow. I have been playing around with Randy Oliver's oxalic acid slow release sponges for a couple years. And I know that they want them put above or between your brood boxes, which would be between your two deeps where the brood's at. But I kind of found out something that if I put it in the entrance, there's a lot, nearly every bee that comes in is walking across those. See it? It's almost as if they kind of know. Like, hey, this helps. This is getting rid of the mites. You see that one there just come out, come across. See how they're going in, walking across it. When they come out, they're coming out across it. Now there is some over here to the left. The sun's going down. And they are bringing in some pollen. It's, it's literally the end of August or the middle of August. They're bringing in some pollen. We haven't really got, had our fall honey flow yet. And that'll be a week or two away. But, um... Anyways, I just wanted to give you an alternative method. These are heavy. That top box is heavy. These bees are technically ready for winter. They've got their brood in the bottom. They backfilled the top box there. I still have two supers on there, but they're not even filling it up. I just got them there because I'm too lazy to take them off. Um, this is always one of my strongest hives. These are VSH uh, is a VSH queen that I've had for this hive is now I think five years old four or five years old um, The mite counts were at about two percent um, Which is about the highest I've ever seen this hive which is why I did the sponges instead of anything else and uh, Anyways, I'll leave those in there about two or three weeks and we'll do another mic count see how it works out